previously in Coquitlam. I'm Nicholas Merling. I'm a queer advocate in the Tri-Cities area, and I'm standing at the crosswalk of Brunette and Marmont, which is where we're proposing to have a trans crosswalk, and then the rainbow crosswalk would be over near City Hall. In this video, I'm going to take you through the wild ride of how one city's pride came to be, how a passionate group of high school students and a supportive community brought it to fruition. My name is Nicholas Sperling, and I've been engaging with and documenting this story since 2017. The wheels started turning toward a new pride when advocacy began for a rainbow and trans crosswalk in Coquitlam. I commented on the mayor's video of Vancouver Pride's crosswalks, questioning why we couldn't have one in Coquitlam. I'd heard rumblings that a councillor had brought forward the idea previously, but the details were not captured in any meeting minutes, so I was unable to determine why this initiative had failed. I joined forces with Ian Souter to advocate for this crosswalk at City Hall. I'm not quite sure when installation will begin, but we're very happy that the city has uh, decided to install this symbol of diversity and acceptance. Despite having the proposal for a trans crosswalk rejected, a rainbow crosswalk was approved and Coquitlam had its first symbol of acceptance towards 2SLGBTQIA plus people. Folks may have heard about the controversy around six or seven colors. We're hoping that the city will approve what is the original symbol, either the eight or the six color flag. You really want that symbol to represent the people that it was originally intended to represent. As I was pushing for this rainbow crosswalk, I noticed a need for local community events. With that in mind, I put together a board and sought funding from Vancouver Pride to form Tri-Cities Pride. Our newly formed Pride Board met just a couple weeks ago. We're going to try to bring as many events to the Tri-Cities as we can to really provide a safe place to be, a supportive place to be, and somewhere that you can go to to enjoy uh, being who you are. This is Nicholas Sperling, president of the Tri-Cities Pride Society, coming at you from Café Devano in beautiful Coquitlam, British Columbia. We've just finished up with our first Tri-Cities Pride event. It was a coffee shop meetup and we had a great turnout, some great conversations. We'll be organizing monthly coffee shop meetups, rotating between Coquitlam, Port Coquitlam and Port Moody, as well as monthly pub nights. In conjunction with the Coquitlam Queens, we put on the first drag event in the Tri-Cities. We also attempted to have a pride flag raised at City Hall, though we were told it was not possible because of a policy not to provide proclamations. When COVID hit, we were unable to organize in-person events. Dealing with a massive workload and declining mental health, I had to take a step back from the board, and unfortunately, not much seemed to happen after that. Cut to 2023. With people gathering again and interest in Pride events resuming, Connie Smudge brought drag story time to the Coquitlam Public Library. As a result of US rhetoric, this ended up being a polarizing event, with anti-queer protesters showing up. And all of you being here with your open minds and your open hearts, and you being your authentic selves, has made this old queen's life worthwhile! <laughs> About a month later, spurred on by the happenings at Drag Storytime, students of Charles Best, under the guidance of their teacher, Megan Leslie, presented to Coquitlam City Council, much as Ian Souter and I had done six years prior. We came here today to request two things from the city. One, the city to raise the pride flag outside City Hall over Pride Month 2023. Two, the city to organize and host a pride event in the summer of 2023. The pride flag is the symbol of the LGBTQ2S plus community. The pride flag cannot be substituted with another symbol such as light displays, as they are not what the community has decided for their representation. We are also asking for a family-friendly pride event to be organized and hosted by the city of Coquitlam, an event similar to what the city of Coquitlam did last summer. In the absence of a pride society in the Tri-Cities, 
we need the city to step up and fill in the gap. The strong youth community support for Drag Queen Storytime on January 21st shows that citizens are craving an opportunity to celebrate Pride. We came of age during the pandemic, a time when Pride was cancelled for years. The absence of Pride events made it difficult for us to see a future and feel a sense of belonging in the community. In the face of an increase of violence and hate towards the LGBTQ2S plus community, it is time to create a safe event for LGBTQ2S plus residents and their families to hold physical space and celebrate diversity. We don't vote on things here, but you'll see from council wholeheartedly support. And unfortunately, we are living in a world where rhetoric becomes gay, lesbian, bi, trans, non-binary people has, has become increasingly dangerous. Showing the support, raising the pride flag is, is so important. I will be supporting our equity, diversity, inclusion work to make the necessary changes so that everyone feels welcome to call for Brooklyn Hall. But I would like to give direction to staff to come back and tell us what sort of supports you might give. Recognizing that there are very few events in the city of I support the raising of the flag. So I support this. I thank you for the work you've done and this important. I fully support what you are asking and advocating for. You've really done a great job of, of making your case group for why we should be for flying the flag and for uh, holding events to this community. And I'm certainly very supportive of doing that. Excellent presentation. Mm -hmm. uh, fully supported. I appreciate the big that you came, but we should be moving the needle faster to where you don't have to be coming. We started doing this conversation just a few years ago. So with that, you know, my colleagues and staff have really come on board. We're developing uh, decals and uh, window clings that represent kind of our general needs for EI. These will be over uh, 110 locations and in all civic facilities. We'll be launching um, in April as well for Celebrate Diversity Month, a new suite of great banners. And for June, we will be also replacing in the new center price specific flags. Because no vote was made, there was a period of time where Coquitlam residents and the students behind the advocacy work were not aware of what the city intended to do. Would they raise the flag? Would they host a Pride event? I discovered that the city was planning a Pride flag raising, though no announcement was made publicly. I sent in a media request and made multiple phone calls trying to find out when the flag raising would occur. Being the city's first, I wanted to capture this footage on camera. City clerk's office. I know that the city is putting up the pride flag tomorrow morning. I'm trying to gather some footage for a story that I'm working on. I'm just wondering what time frame morning includes. I'm thinking I'll, I'll just sit outside and wait if, if you're not sure of a time, but I don't know how early I need to show up to make sure that I catch it. City hall opens at 8, so I wouldn't come any earlier than that. <laughs> okay, so if I sit around from 8 a.m. until 12 p.m., then I should catch it at some point. Yes, I, I would say so, yes. I was wondering if you can tell me when the um, pride flag went up this morning. I started at 7.30 and they were just doing it around that time. Oh, hi. 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 The hi. clerk's office said don't show up before 8. I said, should I show up at 6? Should I show up at 7? Oh, they said, don't bother showing up before 8. It won't go up before then. And, and what's sad is I was here and I was watching and that wouldn't come on before it arrived. Did anyone capture footage of it going up? No. Or? So I had one of my staff here and I... Who just happened to be here and I said, we can't film it if we've told somebody else it is an event. And so no. So there's no record of the first ever Pride flag raising in Coquitlam? That's that's really sad. It's raised by the RCMP. We gave you the information we had. I'm sorry that the experience was different than what was anticipated. Who was in charge of having that flag flown at that time? My coworker, he just feels very uncomfortable being on flag. Sure. He really wants to talk to you about it because we have a solution. Okay. Um, are you okay if we don't film the conversation and he can talk to you about it? My issue is I don't trust the RCMP, so I want to have a record of any conversation I have. Mm -hmm. um, I'm happy to switch to audio. I'm also happy to talk to someone else, but I, I need to have the conversation recorded somehow. For sure. Mm -hmm. I, I understand that. Alexa. Nicola. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Um, so I understand... You missed the pride flag, is that true? That's right, okay. yeah. So I'd spoken with the clerk's office yesterday uh, and the media relations department, and they'd said show up in the morning, and I said, well, what does that mean? And they said, don't worry, you don't need to be here any earlier than 8 o'clock. The flag will go up sometime between 8 and 12. And I showed up at 8 o'clock and found the pride flag was already up, and when I went inside to check, they said it went up at 7.30. Um, so I'm just wondering why that happened. Was that the clerk's office giving me the wrong information? Did the RCMP change the time that they were going to raise it? I, do, I didn't know what time we were going to raise it, but um, because you want to film it, we're going to lower it for you and then re 
raise. Oh, amazing. Yeah, okay. That, works. That, that would be fantastic. Okay. Yeah, thank you. So I managed to secure exclusive footage of Coquitlam's first ever pride flag lowering and the city's second pride flag raising. This year, Tri-Cities Pride has hosted an AGM and has begun attending local events such as Canada Day. These Canada Day celebrations were also attended by Queer as Funk. I was unfortunately unable to attend Coquitlam's Pride event because it conflicted with a soccer tournament for an organization I'm on the board of, but it seems to have been well attended and enjoyed. Coquitlam passed the responsibility of organizing and hosting Pride 2023 to Evergreen Cultural Center. And that's how Pride came to Coquitlam. Mr. Mayor wants your feedback. Council wants your feedback. I was unable to secure an interview with the Charles Best students for a final comment. However, I did capture them marching in this year's Vancouver Pride Parade. 